Hey everyone, Magnus here, and in today's video, I want to show you how you can give your track the best possible chance on SubmitHub. I'm both a user and a curator on SubmitHub, so I've seen both sides of the platform. I want to show you some of the mistakes that I made when I was submitting my tracks the first time, and some of the things to look for within the platform. Without further ado, let's take a look. We're going to do this from scratch, just to make sure that we don't miss anything. Uh, now if your song is already out, you would find a song link on any of these sites over here and just paste it over there. If your song is not out, then you would use the SoundCloud option. Uh, our song is already out, let's pretend that this song just released today. We're going to paste it over here and then we are going to need to upload an mp3 of the song. Just make sure it's the final version of your track not a demo version or an unfinished mix uh, it's released and we'll just move on let's type in our artist name it's not a remix it's not a mashup it's not a cover song uh, if you have a cover song make sure to select this option over here uh, this song doesn't have lyrics uh, I type in uh, my message to the curator later, but it's up to you if you want to type it over there. Uh, and I tend to leave this blank. Uh, I like to like the curator to find out by himself uh, whatever I sound like. Uh, but it's up to you, but I tend to leave it blank. Uh, I've obviously done this before, so we're just going to select my uh, previous profile. I'm in the States. Um, and then if you're doing this for the first time, make sure you go in here and edit your profile, put in a picture and your uh, links, your social media links and where you're based. And then we're just going to submit the track. Um, we can submit to Spotify playlisters, YouTube channels, radio stations, have someone write a blog about your song. Um, that's curators, influencers, TikTok, Instagram. I tend to not use this feature uh, I personally don't see value in it for me. Maybe you see value in it for you. Uh, and record labels, I haven't used this feature either. I don't think they're very active on there, but then again, I'm not sure because I haven't used this feature. Uh, I'm going to submit to Spotify playlisters, so I'm going for curators. Uh, standard option is free. However, I rarely doubt that most curators are ever looking at the standard option. Uh, so we're going for the paid ones, which is premium ones, and they are guaranteed that uh, the curator will listen to your track. Now this feature is very crucial, what you select over here. Uh, you want to select, I care about feedback, and you want to select this option. Uh, if you select this option, uh, it pretty much does the same thing. The curator has to write a feedback, but you might as well just select, I care about feedback. Um, I don't want feedback means that the curator has to listen to the track for 90 seconds. Uh, I don't recommend that option and even SubmitHub doesn't recommend that option. So let's see what they have to say. What type of feedback should I choose? Uh, so I'm not going over all of this, you can do that on your own. But let's see what they say here. Uh, the numbers don't lie. I don't want feedback option. Those submissions get approved 9% of the time on average. Uh, with feedback uh, submissions get approved about 16% of the time. So pretty much uh, the stats don't lie as he's saying. So you should obviously go with, with feedback submissions. And the reason why is because you want the curator to be engaged while they listen to your track. So I'm a curator myself and as I'm listening to a track I'm writing, you know, the things that I feel about the track, the production, the songwriting, and whatever. If I get a 90 second option, I don't have to write anything, and I don't feel as engaged to those songs. I can't help it, I, I just don't feel as engaged. So, and while you're writing, sometimes you might have an opinion in the starting of the, in the beginning of the track, and at the end of the track, while you're still writing, actually the opinion changes sometimes. So it's kind of weird. I'll listen to like the first 30 seconds and I'm like, ah, I'm not sure. And then by the end of it, I'll be like, oh, maybe it's a, it's a great track. And I'll listen again sometimes just to make sure. So always go with a care about feedback option. 
Uh, if you are releasing with a record label, I would select this option. They cannot monetize. But if I'm if it's a self release, I just allow them to monetize. If it's if you're uh, submitting to YouTube channels, I don't really mind. Uh, genres, this part is really crucial as well. We're going to select genres uh, uh, in the next page. So I'll just leave this for now, but this is where you would select your genres. So let's say you have a pop track, but it could also be a house track. So it could fit in both categories. I personally, and this is what I highly recommend, is that let's say we have a pop track and it's also a house track. So it fits in two genres. I'm going for pop first. I'm going to select the curators that are only into pop. Uh, so here we find some curators and then I'll do one campaign like that. Then I'll do another campaign where, where I would select, let's say it's tropical house and pop where I have both of them selected. So uh, the first campaign would be just for pop and another for both because some curators like both and then that's a good option then. Uh, I think most people just run one campaign, but I actually sometimes do like two, three or four campaigns depending on the genres of the song. So if I feel like the song could fit in three or four genres, so let's say you have a singer songwriter folk acoustic, then I would do maybe one campaign with all three together and then one with all separate. But that's just my preference. Uh, so let's say we have a pop song. Uh, let's go over the left side over here what that means um, so I have hidden some because if I get rejected like over four or five times by a curator I actually just stop sending to them because I don't think they like my music uh, at all so I have some hidden ones uh, recommended picks it depends on your genre and what you're looking for uh, we are looking for Spotify playlisters, but you can put YouTube, Twitch, radio stations, bloggers, whatever. Uh, but I'm just looking for Spotify playlisters. You can be detailed over here, but I tend to leave those. Uh, and I have all credits selected. So one credit is like 50 cent and two credits. It's a dollar and three credits, one and a half dollar. And we have premium. Uh, so we've gone over all of that. But let's move on to this side over here. Before we move on, I just want to tell you that I made all the mistakes on this website when I first started using it like three, four years ago. Uh, I was submitting to the wrong genres, to the wrong outlets. So I might be submitting to, let's say, YouTube or SoundCloud channels that I didn't want to submit to. Uh, so I just want to prevent that happening to you. And also, I really don't want to spend credits and money that I've earned if it's not going towards the right outlets. So yeah, I just wanna make sure that we're doing everything right and you are not wasting your credits uh, the same way I did in the beginning. Uh, anyway, we've selected Spotify playlists. Uh, we are using one, two, three credits, uh, half a dollar, a dollar and one and a half dollar. Uh, okay, so we're on to this side over here. Uh, the feature I always choose is genre mats uh, because you wanna be submitting to outlets that have the same genre that you're looking for, obviously. Uh, now, what do these things mean over here? Uh, so we got the genre mats, we got quality and influence. Uh, in the latest Submit Hub update, uh, probably a few months ago, two, three months ago, can't remember exactly, uh, they made these numbers very visible. It didn't used to be like that. You had to kind of search for it, but now they've got colors and these circles going on. So it, it, they made it really uh, simple for you to see what's going on on the platform. Now quality means basically, does he write good reviews? Uh, that's basically quality. The people leaving him review, uh, the curator, are there good reviews or the bad reviews? I think the average is probably around eight. So it means it's just, he's leaving solid reviews. Now the influence part, it, in my opinion, it, it's what really matters because that means if this curator accepts your track, your submission, what are you going to get out of it? So influence eight means that it's one of the better um, 
is one of the higher scores obviously so you're going to get a lot from this curator if you get approved but in my experience uh, the curators with the higher influence score are also the more selectives which means that they might have you know less than 10 percent approval rate or even less maybe less than like two or one percent approval rate so it's really hard to get onto those sometimes uh, but it just depends so when you're going on submit hub don't just go on submit hub select the genre and just you know pick curators like that you don't want to do that you want to make sure that you're sending your credits the right way and that you kind of have an idea what to expect if you get approved so if you look at this curator over here we just hit this arrow over here we can see the average listener count uh, how long you you might stay in the playlist and where he is sharing the tracks so this goes all into the influence score if he has a lot of listeners let's say over, like over here and uh, the it stays in the playlist for at least a month and you know he's got quite a bit of shares then that all goes into the influence score uh, we can see the playlist here now if you want to be if you have a lot of time and you want to go into each and into individual playlist and check them out then that would obviously be great because you can figure out where to submit your track but i understand it can be very time consuming so if you don't really have the time at least you can like take a look at the names of the playlist you can even go to statistics and uh, it doesn't really tell you that much though uh, apart from this side over here uh, and then we got breakup songs so if you got a sad song maybe you've got a chance if you got happy wipes obviously you got a chance he's he's very specific dance rock mood booster so already gives you a hint over there alternative controlled by space might be alternative tracks uh, so definitely look into all of these options you might also see someone with a influence score of like eight nine ten and they have three playlists but it's just one playlist that's doing really well and the other two not so well so let's say the playlist that's doing really well is totally off the genre that you are looking for it might not be the right fit for you so take a look at the influence score quality and obviously the general mats that's where we start uh, but i always look at the influence score i try to submit to playlisters or curators that have above three and four the curators that have one and two uh, i mean you might get some plays but i don't think it's it's really going to pay off uh, so you might browse through here and if you're submitting not for the first time if you submit a bunch of times this is great you can now see you know you don't even have to click the arrow you can now see if someone has approved your tracks already so it looks like a unique playlist have approved three of my tracks they have influence score of nine so i probably gained a lot from this curator since he's approved my last three tracks now, if someone hasn't approved my last five, six submissions, I hide them. So I go to this feature, I select them and I hide them because I try not to waste credits. Once again, the site is really good at actually um, following up what's going on. So every month the playlist update. So I've gone, my influence score has gone all the way from like eight and all the way down to two because I had a hiccup on my playlist for like a month something happened and just wasn't performing and then my influence score just totally dropped and then the next month when it was doing better it just went up again so it's pretty current okay we've got we've got this one uh who has one influence score i would never submit uh i'm not saying i wouldn't submit to them but this track this genre that i selected selected is off so i'm not submitting with a five genre mats uh, they have influence score of one quality of seven probably meaning that their reviews are not getting rated really well and their influence score uh, is not good because as you can tell they've been sharing 42 percent of their submissions to this playlist and it's getting less than five listeners less than five so it might even be zero so that's not really 
good news. So if you if you see a curator that's sharing 50% of the tracks to a playlist that has no activity, then you know you already know that's not the way to go. Don't waste your credits. And he has two credits, so it's a dollar that you might have wasted. So you spend it on 50 outlets like that, you wasted 50 bucks. And to get 50 bucks, you need what? 20,000 streams on Spotify. So there you go. And then once you've done the research on the curators, you've selected those you want to submit to, we move on to the next page. Uh, let's say I submitted these two. I'm ready to submit my track. I'll go to submit. Uh, and then we get this page uh, where basically Submit Hub is asking, do you want to leave a message for the curators? And yes, we want to leave a message. Uh, I've made another video about this topic and all the tips to use Submit Hub the correct way. Uh, you can check it in the video. I'll attach it up here. Uh, basically, you want to be humble, you want to be kind, and you also want to be confident. Uh, so my message would be something like this. I've already typed it uh, before. I hope you like my song, Sunset Drive. It's got some nice piano, piano and guitar melodies that flow well together. Uh, the song might fit well into a sturdy, chill playlist. Thank you and all the best. So I'm just being humble, kind and confident at the same time. Because, you know, introducing, I hope you like my song. It's got some nice piano and guitar melodies. I'm being confident uh, because I actually think it has some nice guitar and piano melodies. And then I think the song might fit well into a study chill playlist. And I did some research on all the curators and I figured out what kind of playlist they, they have. And then just quick thank you and all the best. Just being kind. I mean, they are taking their time to listen to, the, to your track even though you're paying for it. But still, they are taking their time and you want to be kind to them, in my opinion. I am one of the curators, so I always appreciate it when someone is just humble and kind. As a curator myself and reading these messages on a daily basis, the ones that stick out to be, uh, they don't move me, let's say that, are the ones where people are mentioning their monthly listener stats or social media followers and things like that. Uh, I'd rather have something passionate going on about the track, you know, does it have good melodies? Do you like the hook in the track? Uh, does it have a good guitar solo that you're into? Stuff like that, rather than making it about the social media things. Because I'm, as a curator, I love to hear good music and listen to the songs and what went into it, rather than, hey, you know, I'm this big on social media, you know, I'll share with all my followers and all that stuff. And just my opinion. And another thing, definitely doesn't move me as a curator is when someone is really unconfident and they're saying things like oh you know I'm not sure about the song you know I've been working on it but it's been a hard you know production songwriting so you know let me know what you think those sort of messages they you know they don't move me much so it's hard for me to like your song if you can't like it yourself and you've already told me that you're not sure about the song so you know I might like it, don't get me wrong, but it just makes it harder for me to be really into it if you're not into it. Uh, so yeah, just be humble, be kind and confident. So we filtered out the curators, we've done our research, we have wrote a good message, we've done everything we can on our part, then we just hit submit and we hope for the best. I also wanted to mention that before you go and submit your track, make sure to check my other video about Submit Hub and the best tips for a better approval rate. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out.